Hi guys and welcome back to Enigma 77 Reviews. Let me just move this camera, uh, camera, mirror out the way. Okay guys, so today we have a little bit of an unboxing. I have an idea that this is from eBay because um, I've not received any of my subscription boxes yet and I don't think I'm expecting them anyway until probably the beginning of October. Only problem with that is I go into hospital on the 4th and then I, I'm not going to be doing any filming after that for a while. So. That's the only um, kind of trick with the trick, kind of wall we're going to hit, unfortunately. But um, I have got a lot of like things that are coming. I've got Killstar that's coming again. I've got to be careful with that one as well because two of the items in there is from my son's like seventh birthday. So he's he's always watching mummy on on YouTube. So I've got to try and be careful with that as well. Anyway, so. As you know, I did a Halloween, I've done two Halloween hauls, but one showed the Snazaroo paint, and that was your first clue to what I'm doing as my alternative challenge. You are gonna guess it with the things that I show you today, so um, I still won't say it. I'll let you kind of figure it out for yourselves. So I've made a cup of coffee, guys, in my new um, Aura mug from Killstar. Taste test, it's nice. Um, guys, I've got to explain as well, this lipstick, as you know, I've got the, um, I think it's the Kiss of Death, the black. It doesn't really stay on, guys. I did what I call the kiss test. I get a tissue and kissed it. Most of it came, came off with the kiss test and I was just like, well, that's a bit disappointing. Um, I've not tried the other colour yet, so I'm not too sure. It kind of looks like a dusky, kind of black with the pink coming out so it kind of looks kind of weird let me just and there's no point in me putting any more on guys because it does come off here it is yeah kiss of death it's a new makeup revolution one um i mean it looks nice still i just would have preferred it to kind of punch the black out a little bit more so i think i may just stick to my black kind of matte lipsticks rather than a gloss because gloss doesn't really stay on too well but I do like it I do like the texture of it it's very creamy the application but I'm um, I'm hoping to invest in some Kat Von D after Christmas and um some more alternative kind of makeup so everything next year we've got a lot to come next year this year it's a little bit tight because we are close to Christmas now and finances are really really tight so I've kind of spent up now for this year for as far as my channel and alternative stuff goes i have got subscription boxes and that's fine um but christmas is coming and we all know we've got to get on with it so this parcel arrived and i know straight away what it is because telling me fragile is a, a big indication of what it is so i ordered this on ebay i have seen this on so many different alternative sites killstar didn't actually have this in they had the incense and I think they had the mug in that, which um, I'm tempted to get the mug, but as you know, I really do like my skull mugs and I do, ha I do have one that I just bought from TK Maxx. So I don't want to be buying too many mugs because I go through a phases of collecting things and not using them. So I, I really want to just use this mug that I've got now. So I might get one, I don't know, we'll see. But here we go, yeah. Right box, I'm just throw that box in there. So guys, it is the oil burner cauldron here in time for Halloween. But I've been wanting to get one of these for quite a while. Um, as you know, I've bought two pumpkin ones, which is, that's just based on like Halloween. But this I'll probably use all year round. I do have my other burner. I do like my burners, guys. If I could have loads of alternative burners, I would. But I got this from Asda, guys, and it was uh, it was really cheap. Um, I can't remember, it was like, six pound or something it was really cheap i would prefer that in black but or purple but they didn't have any other colors but white white just seems so virginal so <laughs> never mind i can't spray it black either so but this cauldron's black as we know cauldrons are black so it was well packaged guys i've got to say that for ebay and this is probably the cheapest place i've found it they had so many different sites selling this i think it was like varying up from like 13 pound upwards and i kept searching because i will search for the best price and then i found this one guys for 9.99 and i thought bargain i know they do another one i will link that for you as well 
uh, where you buy the cauldron burner and the cup and it was £16.95 that was a steal I'm kicking myself now I didn't actually order that one because it said witch's brew on the cup um, but I might just order the cup from Killstar anyway and the incense one and have the whole set because I do like burning my incense and I, I've got a lot of the comb ones I do want the Lisa Parker wolf comb one say guys there's, there's so much things that I want to buy but we have to wait so as you can see it does have like four stars so it just it will have that light of stars especially if you've got it near a certain kind of backdrop don't have it too close to backdrops guys because it can catch fire but this is where your tea light goes and I have a tea light here so that just goes inside there guys and then whatever melt you're burning I am waiting um bubbles melts I think bubbles melts I'm waiting for the mystery box to come out the Halloween one um or it's the goodie box it's 9.99 10 pound I'm waiting for that and then I'm gonna jump on it and grab it and then I'll do an unboxing on, on my channel and we'll do the melting process but we will do the melting process today of the witch's brew which I bought from B&M for 149 so that goes in there guys obviously take packaging off but look how pretty that looks I think it looks amazing now I don't know what it looks like lit up again we'll try later so that was that guys that was 9.99 I may just go ahead and buy another one of them and the cup and have that either side of like the window or something i don't know i don't know because i'm in my studio and my studio is quite basic guys as far as like decoration goes i have herschel cat sat in the corner i've got my light box which i've got ready for like the spooky boxes that are coming and i have my backdrop and i have like my units that have all my beauty stuff in and wigs and stuff like that my bedroom is is where i'll just go to chill out obviously that is more of the spooky side of the um decoration so right this came clue number two this came <laughs> and i think it was two pounds 79 from ebay i've already opened it guys what i am going to do i've got some blue flowers in my garden i'm going to pick them and just let them wither away a little bit and then i'm going to attach them to here so clue number two i am going to be making this a little bit more old looking and distressed but I was quite happy that that came. I did have a veil for my own wedding. I don't know what I did with it. I have got a black veil as well somewhere, guys. And I don't know what I've done with that. And then this was a this was a catch. I was quite happy I found this. Now, the lady did stress to me that it wasn't long, long enough for what I need it for. And I said, to be completely honest, I don't want to go to too much expense for something that I'm doing for Halloween. I try and do it on a budget, guys. So I did say to her, um, how long is it? And she explained how long it was. And I just thought, it, for what I need it for, it would probably be right. And plus, it was it was cheap, guys. It was five quid. And I've got to stress to you, this is an absolute bargain. So, you know, I buy charisma wigs and I buy shanties and lace front wigs are a little bit more on the high end. This obviously wasn't a lace front. It is a cosplay wig. But, guys, just take a look at it. This lady obviously selling a lot of her cosplay wigs there is a little bit of fallout from it guys but nothing major and it's kind of like the length that i'm at at the minute i mean a little bit longer but i absolutely love it so this is clue number three guys have you guessed it yet so it has got a side sweep it is just like my hair it's just like putting my hair on but blue and it is as you can see the cap is quite a good cap actually and it's got like your bra clips to, to smack it down in but there's no like inverted clips you could attach your own clips if you wanted to guys um but for what i wanted for it, it's not necessary and obviously it's not lace front so you can see like the stitching of the cap and stuff but i like it and it was five pound that was including postage guys so i paid five pound for this i mean what i wanted originally was a light blue one and long and curly and that was retailing at like 13 pound and it was all coming from china i thought i ain't got time to wait for china stuff so yeah that is clue number three guys and um i'm not going to put it on because i'm going to wait until i do my reveal so that's that i was going to buy some extensions and attach to it because who i am has got a lot longer hair but nah we're all right right this 
this clue is going to be your, let me think, one, two, three, this is your fourth clue. I can't get the address off it, guys, so I'm just going to open it this way and you get to see it for me. Now, this will give you the last clue and you probably would have figured it out by then. So, guys. <laughs> Yeah, have you figured it out yet? Veil, blue wig, blue paint. I think you guys would have figured it out. I am going to be um, Tim Burton's Corpse Bride and it's for a 15 second challenge on um, spooky, spooky YouTubers or it's something like that on Facebook. I've joined it and they were doing this, this challenge. I jumped on it because <coughs> I've never really done any challenges like this before and um i'm quite intrigued i've got a lot of blue makeup i've got a lot of pink lipsticks i can do this i can do this i'm just not too sure on like if i'm going to close my eyes for the challenge but then it kind of i don't know we'll see i'd rather have my eyes open for the challenge because i need that kind of spooky kind of look but so this came guys and it ties it was look at the packaging on this guys this is amazing I didn't pay that much for this, guys. I honestly, I think, I can't quite remember because my phone's on charge, guys. I think I paid something like £12, something like that. Now, I will stress what I was originally going to do. I was going to go to a charity shop and buy, if they had a really old wedding dress, I was going to buy it. I actually wanted a Basque-style dress, but I just, I just can't afford that kind of dress. And I ain't going to destroy my wedding dress, no way. Mm. so I thought that's what I'm going to do and I went to all the charity shops and none of them not one had a wedding dress and I thought time's running out I have to have this challenge done by the 30th so I had a look on um, eBay and Amazon and so forth and I came across this and what attracted me to it was the fact that it's blue and um, the Corpse Bride from Tim Burton's Bride's Corpse Corpse Bride Cops by by cops. Um, yeah, her dress is like distressed white and blue. So I grabbed it, guys, and as you can see, it looks quite good. I might just try and customize it a little bit so it's slightly different. I'm just gonna put that there, guys, so you can see it. But for the price, that's amazing. I've got lots of white shoes. Obviously, um, she's not showing any leg like she does in Cops Bride, but you're not really gonna see the bottom half for the challenge. So that was that, guys. So tell me what you think. Blue wig, got my veil, gonna have my blue flowers. I do have a bouquet of blue and white flowers coming. I may just distress them as well. And um, my father-in-law, as you know, he's a music teacher. He's, he's been doing music for a very, 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 very long time. And I've asked him to produce some spooky music for me um, on the piano. Obviously we can't copy Tim Burton's music, although I love it. Um, He's created something that I'm absolutely blown away by. Now, the challenge is no talking, no music, but I'm going to do a 15 second with music, 15 second without, and then I'm going to do a full preview for you guys. So, yeah, so that was that, guys. So that was my eBay haul. Super, super cheap. So I think it was like some £25, and I got the costume, the burner, the, um, the veil. All right, it might have been £30 including everything and for a full costume it was 20 pounds for a full costume because you can't include that right so before we wrap this up i have a freebie guys and i, I think i ordered this on a free sample service on instagram and this will make you laugh and i thought we might as well have a bit of a giggle so it came the other day and as you know my filming days have changed guys because you know i've got to be realistic I, i'm just not had no time to do anything for myself and it's, it is like a full-time job for me and I don't get paid. <laughs> so, in fact, I'm spending more money and nothing's coming in. So, I have changed my filming days to Tuesdays, Fridays and Sunday. As you know, Sunday's going to be Pampa Sunday as usual. So, um, anything that comes delivery-wise, I'll either film the day before and release it on them days. So, there's only going to be videos coming up on them three days now, guys. So... Um, I hope you're all right about that. I think a lot of people prefer that rather than having constant uploads because um, I'm just getting, I'm getting too, uh, with 
and I've not had time to do anything. And obviously I've got my new hard drive because my computer's completely died now. So I do need to get that done today and I'll do a video and I'll release that later on today. All right, guys, so these turned up and this was lights, which was the tenor. <laughs> and I just started laughing for stay dry whatever you're doing with lights by tenor. So guys, I do use a lot of um, incontinence pads because I have a fourth degree prolapse of the bladder and I have a prolapse of the uterus and my bowel is starting to prolapse with it. Just great, isn't it? And I'm only 42. So um, this turned up and I just, I was just crying laughing. I just thought, pff, pff, pelvic floor exercises didn't work for me, guys. I'll be completely honest. I've got four children, four big children that I had and I did my pelvic floor and I know everything was perfectly fine until 2016 when I had an ablation. Things went wrong after that. I wish I never had it done now, to be honest with you guys. I wish I just went in and had a hysterectomy. It would have been a lot easier and a lot less crap that I've had to deal with since 2016. But these turned off and I just thought, <laughs> so they are very, very like light. So this is the long liners, as you can see. And I think they've given me two of them, which are great for like nighttime um, because I, I don't get up to go to the toilet because I am on high dose medication for my bladder, so it's reduced. But if I was to stop taking that medication, things would just go right back to the way it was before and I don't want to go down that road again. And you get a pack, maybe one or two in there as well. Then you get a little light handbag one and then you get like a panty liner. I think there's two in there as well. So these are free samples, guys. I mean, for me, I'll probably put them in my hospital bag I mean, I have got massive pads because obviously with the operation that I'm having done, I'm going to need them for quite a while, apparently. So that is that, guys. Um, I'm going to do a little video at the end showing you how this is going to melt and burn. So be sure to watch out for that. All right, guys, ring the bell if you haven't already. And um, lots of spooky things to come. My TK Maxx is coming next week. I cannot wait to show you that with a little bit of the range thrown in with that so that's a halloween decoration special so don't miss that guys all right guys take care of yourself i know i've got the lots of videos like my hair my wig matches i'm gonna get that done this weekend and release maybe next week i'll get them released all right guys take care of yourself be sure to stay to the end and watch this little baby burn all right guys take care of yourself bye for now